So the quadratic equation is one of those things that everyone sees in class and everyone knows about, but I think very few people have any idea where it came from in the first place. So right, the point is you've got some quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, and you're trying to solve for x. So sometimes, right, if you give something like that, it's easy to factor it. So for example, if I gave you x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0, all you need to do is just factor that. That's x plus 1 times x plus 1. However, it's not always the case that you can factor what you get. So what you probably learned in class is if you can't factor it, you should use the quadratic equation. So today we'll show where does this quadratic equation actually come from. And the simple answer is it comes from completing the square. So let's get started. So the first step is, if you remember from completing the square, having a number in front is kind of a hassle. It makes completing the square much harder. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and divide both sides by a. We'll just get rid of that a. So if we do that, the first a's cancel. I get x squared. The next ones we get b over a. And the last one we get c over a. And then on the right, we just get zero. One quick thing I'll challenge you to think about is if a is zero, we can't be dividing by zero, but what would the equation look like if a were zero? We'll see it's actually something that's really very simple to deal with. Okay, so let's assume a here is not zero and let's keep going forward. So great, now with this, we want to complete the square. So remember to complete the square, what you do is you take the number next to the x, b over a, and you take half of it. So if I take half of b over a, that's the same thing as b over 2a. Okay, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and put inside here. My c over a, I keep that. And since we just added a new b over 2a squared, I also have to subtract a b over 2a squared and leave my equal 0. Great. So in fact, we've done most of the work at this point to find the quadratic equation. Really, all that's left now is to solve for x by slowly moving stuff out of the way. So let's go ahead and do that. So first, let's go ahead and move both of the terms on the right over. So we'll leave the x plus b over 2a squared on this side. We'll go ahead and move over b over 2a squared and subtract over c over a. And just to make things look nicer, let's go ahead and just square that first one out. So that's b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. Now, on the right, I can add those two up if I get common denominators. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's just leave the left exactly like it was. On the right here, the common denominator certainly is going to be 4a squared. So this one needs a 4a on the top and on the bottom. So if we do that, the first one's got b squared, the next one has 4ac. So this should already be starting to look a little bit familiar. Okay, so the next step now, we're trying to get into that x, but the x is covered up by that square. So let's go ahead and square root it to get rid of that. So if I square root both sides, that's going to get rid of my square. And remember, once you square root some numbers, you need to put plus or minus in front. Again, looking really familiar from the quadratic equation. So the last step I'll do with what we've got right here is, let's go ahead and give the square root to the top and the bottom. Because on the top we get b squared minus 4ac. On the bottom though, the square root of 4a squared is just 2a. So now again, we're recognizing this from the quadratic equation and we're almost done. Okay, so the last step is to go ahead and subtract this b over 2a to the other side. So I'll go ahead and subtract it over to the right hand side. And what we see is we've actually already got common denominators. So we'll go ahead and just put the tops together. And if we do that, we get exactly the quadratic equation negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So what you can see here is the quadratic equation is really just a short way of completing the square. So really you don't need to memorize the quadratic equation. If you just completed the square, you would already get exactly what the quadratic equation is. The quadratic equation is just making a shortcut for completing the square. 
I hope that makes sense and I hope that helps. If you have questions or other topics you want me to talk about, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get to it. Thanks everyone and have a good one.